Hi guys, I'm Remy Gizinis, and this is 26 Questions with the Bridge. Hey you guys, we're dropping some additional rewards to celebrate the Valentine's Day. The event is going to last from February 11th to February 15th, 1 p.m. UTC time. To participate, all you need to do is subscribe to our channel, smash the like button, use the QR that you see on your screen right now to register with Megzi.com and KYC your account. We will randomly select the 10 lucky winners and drop some USDT or mainstream tokens to your account. That's pretty much it. Enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. Uh, we have uh, Remigius today from Breach. Remigius, how are you? I'm very good and thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Awesome, thanks for coming over. So, basically, Breach, unleash the gamified social metaverse is the slogan on your website. Today, we have some questions piled up from the community that they would like to ask you. If you're ready, we can go ahead one by one. Let's go. Awesome. Number one, can you please explain what Breach is in one sentence? So, Bridge is a gamified social network, which is a game by itself. Cool, nice and short. Uh, question number two. Can you tell us what is the main role of BRGG in your ecosystem? Explain its utilities and real-life use cases. Yes, of course. It will allow uh, combining, minting and trading NFTs. Also, staking BRGG tokens uh, will increase the amount of experience players will earn of everything they do on our platform. Additionally, BGG tokens are used to entire ecosystem's internal currency and rewarding holders with exclusive features. Nice, okay. Uh, question number three, what do you think are the strong points of breach that would set it apart from current blockchain games? Yeah, uh, first, it's quality. We are creating realistic 3D designs. Second, uh, the user will be able to go through different uh, genres of native games with the same character skills and items let's say you're playing a uh, fighting style it's like you're very good at mortal kombat style of games we'll have one of these in our as native on new intention you'll be able to transfer that character with all your set skill set or with their items to other game like rts real-time strategy like warcraft 3 so you'll be leading your minions with the same character you just played the fighting game. So last is a wide explanation, but it's needed. Lastly, Breach is not just a blockchain game. We are building the infrastructure for a Breach to be a complete ecosystem for the gamers. From social media, gaming, to the blockchain is just the one stop for everything gamer needs these days. Yeah, that's true. That's awesome. Nice interoperability between games. I love it. Okay, question number four. Currently, in most of the play-to-earn games, players mainly play to make money. This has made many games reduce the amount of rewards for players and cause players to leave the game. So, how will Breach GG solve this problem? Yeah, our team is basically completed from old school gamers. So, we've been playing a lot of games and we know issues with all the games. So. We will use the premium model and rewarding game mechanics. So tokens will help to grind faster, of course, and save time because not all people could enjoy games so very long, like if you have a job, a wife, you know, all that stuff. So of course, it's like everyone would get the same, but premium will allow us to get faster. But all possibilities will be open for everyone. As I said, we will create more native games as well as partner with other games to enable our community to earn while playing them too. All of that in addition to giving gamers a space to communicate from guilds, uh, find content and more. Oh, cool. thank you. Okay, question number five. Does Breach provide a special space for other game developers in game information? And is the Breach platform easy to understand for beginners to play the Breach game? Yes, of course. Breach provides a unique space for game developers to share their latest new games and grow their community in Breach Express, uh, which does exactly that. A bridge platform is going to be designed with a simplicity in mind. Everyone knows how to use a social media platform. And that will be the entry point to using Bridge because everything you do in Bridge is an experience. Fantastic. Awesome. Thank you for that. So question number six. Currently, the market is becoming very bullish on the NFT trend. Can you share your opinion on NFT as a player in the NFT market? 
So NFT is a great technology that gives back to gamers and people. Uh, no one should enter the entertainment industry to live poorer than they came in. In simpler words, you should in everything you pay for. Let's say example, I've been playing World of Tanks from the start 10 years now, and I can't even say how many euros I put in that to get these special tanks, but I can't sell them because they are bind to my account. So NFTs allow players to interchange the items with other players and receive their money. Yeah, that totally sucks. It's completely unfair. You put so much, not only yours, but time and effort to build that up. And now it's basically all stuck. Agree. Cool. Question number seven. One of the most interesting features of Breach is that each player will have their own avatar or profile in NFT format with an integrated leveling system. However, how exactly will the platform determine this level of play? What sources will it use for this? So indeed. We want to make it customizable so everyone is represented. Uh, the leveling system has a few layers. First, if you have played the four on Steam, let's say, you can link your profiles to Breach Avatar, and we will calculate through the modular system all your previous game experiences, time you played all, all these games and stats, and add XP and levels to your avatar. So you bring gaming history to the Breach. It, like, you don't start from zero. Everything you do on Breach, connecting friends, writing content, engaging with the content, playing Breach Arena, PT, uh, play journey games, to see all give you XP and levels, everything. Basically, you are playing a social network. You can use the NFTs you win or buy to add to your avatar and make it more customized, like in Diablo style. you like unlocking some items you can add to your avatar playing card and increase your stats and level. Cool. Yeah, that's very nice. Okay, question number eight. Breach has an integrated leveling system helping you gain strength and experience. My question is, what are the criteria used to reach the highest levels in your ranking system? For those who obtain these levels, what kind of benefits will they have within Breach? The personalized avatar level is affected for, by several factors. Uh, first, your previous game experience and other activities on other platforms. As we talked about history, you played interacting with the content on Breach and socializing in general, like you do on Facebook, just like you can do on any other social media platform. Everything you do, you do affect your stats and avatar. Uh, when you reach a max level, you can still go higher. <laughs> Uh, you can equip NFTs to your avatar like a sword and armor to get your gems, like you can add gems to your items to make it more powerful and increase stats. We'll have a range of NFTs, rarities ranging from common to legendary, of course, like, you know, these golden ones that every gamer wants. You can rent your max, uh, maxed out avatar to others as a mercenary. Let's say you come on vacation, your wife doesn't let you play games. So you just put it on our marketplace, your not only NFT, but all your uh, setup and uh, other players will rent you and after every combat you'll get some British tokens because they're using you like a mercenary so you like your characters so you can rent them out aha uh -huh, cool yes because you know the movie Ready player one by steven spielberg about the virtual reality world we are building bases for that so basically it doesn't matter if you like active player or passive player, your avatar is always alive. I haven't seen this movie, Ready Player One. I definitely need to get into this one. Sounds cool. Yeah, you should like. Okay, cool. Thank you for the tip. I'll check that out, definitely. Well, not right after our interview, but maybe on the weekday. <laughs> Great. Question number nine. Uh, the metaverse is really heating up with wonderful projects being launched on a daily basis. What are the wrongs you would like to correct in the game space? Well, first, we would like to give people one avatar to rule all the metaverse. And of course, it's impossible to do with that with all cross-chain projects at the moment, but that's why we're creating different genres, uh, native games. And we'll show the concept of that one character going through other, not like, not the same games or same type of uh, walk on land. No, but like different genres of games. You get your metaverse avatar, the online version of you, level it up, own it and use it to earn money. And also play different games and different breach native games, different chains on metaverses like in, in the future. One avatar, less money wasted, more earned. Basically, as we imagine, I don't say it will be tomorrow, but the same character with the same gaming history you did in your lifetime will be able to go through different projects. Not an experience loss, no? So basically you can have like characters from one game, let's say, I don't know, Call of Duty, 
running in Grand Theft Auto and doing some crazy stuff. Yeah? Yes, exactly. But everything starts in this world from imagination. Like I love the blockchain community about that because they are unifying, you know, I can feel the unity between all these holders. Cool. Wow. That's superb. Okay, question number 10. I read that one of the aspects that will affect my account will be the likes or dislikes of the other players. So could you tell us what we should do to avoid dislike and in turn increase the likes? Will it offer rewards for it? It's a very complex solution because, you know, there is a lot of bots and people can like connect few wallets or something like that and like get a lot of dislikes from nothing but from same person so basically you will be needed to reach some kind of level and then you can like rate other people so the like to dislike ratio is something we are building um, through the modular systems to help gamers learn about it if someone is a good match or not you can report and dislike gamers who leave the match after two minutes let's say you know and you like frustrating like you're alone a uh, warrior in the beta field or some gamers are very angry and rude or use bad language at the see so you not not only report it let's say to put angry smile you know <laughs> his a nickname or something like that that. So everybody knows uh, if they are good match or not. It won't affect your avatar a lot. However, it will help you to find great players to match with and give you the chance to tell other gamers if some players are good or bad in social skill sets, skill set level. You can avoid the slides by playing the games in a good way and being nice to people you play with, not troll them. Of course, like uh, you can have a friend circle who is rude too. So basically you are just rude company. It's allowed to do that. But for other players, like it's a signal not to play with you. I really like that solution that a player should earn or their reputation before they can like or dislike others. That's very smart. Yeah, because like I instantly also thought like, what if their group of people just want to, you know, bring other players down, you know, so they would, you know, go down on the rank. That's a very cool solution. Yeah, very smart. Okay, nice. <laughs> Question number 11. A breach will be able to find decent matches for online video games and blockchain games easily and conveniently. But how do we really benefit from these matches? Will they help us to understand more easily the theme and playability of your game? Uh, well, Breach has different features. One of them is Matchmaker. This feature is not related to our game. This feature allows uh, you to find games, gamers to play with on Steam, Origin, and other popular platforms. Not only, like, Breach will be as a feature in the future. Uh, you simply share, I want to play X game, and you see other players that want to play it too. Or maybe teams, they're waiting for one bad player, you know, to play on the Tuesday evenings. You can check if they are good uh, match by visiting their profiles and checking their social skill level we talked before, you know. So basically, it's always better to and more fun to play with the same level people as you are. So like a lot of laugh, you know, like good time, even if you are like losing, but still you have a good time. And seeing their experience and if they were reported badly, you can just can test you know? You can also search for matches and customize the filters to be con in control of who you want to play, when you want to play, and what skill kill the ratio like they have with all that stuff. All right, question number 12 is basically you answered in the previous one, what is Breach Matchmaker, but maybe you have something to add here. How does it work? What are the features of Breach Matchmaker? Just anything that comes to your mind. Breach Matchmaker is a scheduler, like a space uh, for you to find gamers, to find it to play anywhere online, you know, be it in traditional games and or blockchain games, simply research and post and add to find gamers, connect and play. It gives you the full control to play with uh, other good ma matches. It, like a Tinder, you know, swipe, swipe right, swipe left. It also will give you the ability to report bad gamers who are abusive or trolling it to see. So like an artificial intelligence through time, every players will be ranked. So that public information ensures a safe and bully free gaming community and experience. Okay, wanted to ask something here. So basically, you're saying one of the coolest features is that have this interoperability between games where characters enter different games. On a technical level, would that mean that you would create like an API that other games could easily connect it to? Or how are you planning to deploy that technically? Well, we are happy that Steam provides a lot of information through API. If like uh, players link their Steam account to the bridge, other games requires manual work and we need to create manual APIs to get all information about statistics for other games, like how good are they, how good the ratio, how many hours they played the game, 
and all that. So everything is going to be through the eyes, but a lot of them will be developed manually. But I guess if the momentum picks up and you will gain some nice traction, then other projects would probably want to, you know, like kick in other games would want to be a part of your platform, right? Exactly. We're getting more and more traction and we are in partnerships every day, like daily new partnerships with other blockchain games. So are they helping you with speeding up the process? I mean, like maybe creating the API on their end so it would be easier for you to plug in, something like that? Yes, of course. Cool. Okay, question number 13. We need to upgrade our Metaverse NFT avatar to be rare. How many different ways are there to upgrade NFT avatars in the game? And will there be additional equipment we can buy in the market to customize them? Playing any games on Steam and other platforms gives you experience. Everything you do on Breach platform gives you experience points too and levels. Sharing news, engaging with the content, connecting, farming, guild, guilds, playing our native games, etc., will give you experience and you're reaching level faster. The faster levels you are reaching levels, the better NFTs you have a chance to unlock. You're like the bigger chance, not like 100% you'll unlock legendary item, you know, or like uh, some magic scroll who like uh, when you combine with a simpler item will make it more rare. But in every experience you get, the bigger chance you have to unlock this kind of rare NFTs. When you reach certain levels, you can win rare NFTs to equip to your avatar. Yes, you can equip more NFTs to your avatar to make it rarer and more unique to you. We're designing our own 3D NFTs and our NFT marketplace for you to be able to add them to your avatar. And we will additionally partner with other games and list their gaming NFTs too. So basically it's a big space for customization, but we'll create mechanics because I'm a huge RPG fan myself. Some secret scrolls NFTs, you know, after using them, they go to the burn address but they'll upgrade your one like NFT item, you know? So basically we'll burn your item too, and you'll get like unique and like legendary or epic rarity item for that. We are thinking about that. And of course, guys, if you have any feedback on what games should look like or what mechanics you like, give us a feedback. We we'll always listen to our community. Awesome. Uh, you said you're a huge RPG fan. Like, well, what are your top three RPG games? Uh, Lineage 2. It will be yours played. It's of course Diablo and Witcher. I see. Okay, cool. Awesome. Question number 14. A strong community not only brings interesting ideas to the project, but also attracts larger partners. So how are you planning to build its community? And is there a plan to recruit people with blockchain experience to your team? Our team already has blockchain experts from different projects. People who worked in the industry for over five years. We are also hiring more and will grow our team as Bridge grows. Like we started with one designer, now we have six, you know, because now we decided to build all the games. First, we thought we'll create an Unreal Engine games, web browser games, but Unreal Engine from 4.2 is not supported anymore. Like Unreal Engine 5 is supported by web browser, so we choose Unity, but they will be still very good looking. So we're hiring daily. <laughs> Let's say, yeah, we have partners and advisors that help great projects like D-Race and other projects scale and succeeded in the market. Like we have had different campaigns already and built a strong community in the period of just over one month. We have a lot of coming, including partnerships with different games to tell the gamers about Breach. Sorry, enthusiastic about this project. Uh, additionally, we are creating new local channels for people to learn about Breach in their native language. We are trying to reach every gamer possible. Like, but of course, guys, you can help us more than we can help us. <laughs> sure. Yes. Amazing. Question number 15. Uh, why did you choose Terra Chain instead of other blockchains? What is the main reason for it? As we think, we are a unique project and Terra Luna is like booming chain at the moment. The fact uh, we will be the first one on the chain and that helps us to be the hub for the more gamers that will come to Luna. So we will have more potential game partners. Additionally, it has a lot of social features that it makes it easier for us to implement the social side of the bridge. They have a lot of more features benefit the community as well, including spending stable coins instead of bridge G tokens. We will launch on Luna, but the platform and avatars will be multi-chain, so everyone should be happy about that. We are not restricting only to Luna. Uh, good to know. Question 16. Can you tell me about Breach GG project listing plans, especially the ones involving major exchanges, uh, CX and DEX? Uh, yeah, so Breach IDO will be happening on the our maker and performer planning for the middle 10 february but you know the market you saw the little crash two days ago so i would say end of the february sex listings are planned the week after ideo on gate on mexc 
and potentially more sexist. We'll talk to several sexists that we'll announce at the news later a bit. Okay. Cool. Alrighty, moving on. Question number 17. Partnerships are extremely important for any project to grow and shine in the sky. So can you tell us some of your recent partnerships and also how do you plan to make it better? Uh, well, <laughs> we have a strong list of partners. You can check them out on our website. One of the most recent partnerships is with Beetle Saga, a blockchain game. I think you know that. Uh, with them, we are planning to grow both of our communities, list our NFTs on their marketplace and their on our marketplace and enable cross metaverse experiences for our communities. But there is one more partner we talked last week. I could say just that the company is over 100 billion network. So I couldn't say, but like we will launch uh, big news in our website and in our socials. They will help us with uh, building native games. Sounds awesome. Yep, guys, stay updated so you don't miss out that one. Question number 18. I saw on your website that you will launch uh, Bridge G. So when does it start? Are there any special requirements to follow the whitelist? So Bridge G launch is planned as we talked on the end of February, subject to change based on the market status, of course. We will announce whitelist requirements and everything on our channels. So follow us and stay tuned. Yep. Okay. Question number 19. Could you briefly describe the milestones Bridge G has achieved and about your upcoming plans? What are the vision and goals in your project that you want to achieve in 2022? and beyond. So we are proud to have established a strong team, amazing partnerships and built a great community. By the end of the 2021, in 2022, we are planning to release a video showcasing more about that, what we are planning about building the project, IDO, NFT drop to token holders, MVP, of course, at the end of the March, NFT marketplace, and, and more while also focusing on growing community. Cool. Question number 20. At present, social media is playing a vital role for all the business fields. Do you have any important social media links to follow the announcement of your projects? Of course, like you can follow us on Telegram communities, Twitter, Medium, Discord, YouTube, Facebook. Okay, cool. So that wraps it up for the 20 questions from the community. Guys, if you saw one of your questions that I was asking, well, that means you are the lucky winner and you can go ahead and claim your rewards by following the instructions in the description box. Alrighty, so now we're moving on to the next segment. And for the next segment, uh, Remigius, it is your turn to ask the six questions back to the community so they can earn additional rewards. So on what chain is Breach to be built? Question two, Breach functions similar to a social medium. What makes Breach different than traditional media? Question three, <laughs> what are the top upcoming features? Question four, how can gamers level up? the metaverse profiles and NFT cars. Question five, what's on the Breach's roadmap? And question six, who found Breach and name of a few key partners of ours? Yep, if you wanna go earn additional rewards, make sure you comment down below and we will select the lucky winners. So that wraps it up for today. Remigus, thank you so much for coming to the interview and explaining all the amazing insights of your project. I wish you all the success. I hope that we will do this again in the future. And for those of you who are watching, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And we will see you next time. Thanks a lot, Mark, again. So I'll see you soon. See ya. Take care.